well. It's uh, cold and miserable out. And the wind's blowing probably 35, 40 mile an hour. And we got a fresh skiff of snow. And while the conditions are not going to be entertaining, it is the perfect conditions for a solo pheasant hunt. And the reason it's the perfect conditions for a solo pheasant hunt, because late in the year, the birds get pretty wild and they won't hold for anything. They keep flying on a person. So I got me in the mutt and we got permission and we got snow which pushes them into the plum thickets and we got wind that makes them hold tight so we're gonna go see if we can't push them up and out of there and get some on video with this stupid contraption I don't know what it's gonna look like but uh, I guess time will tell we'll drive there and see so hope you guys enjoy hopefully we get some While well, we're here, first spot, hopefully we'll have our limit in the first half mile here. I don't know what the audio is gonna sound like. It's gonna be plenty cold and plenty miserable. I'm hoping the birds flush and hook up to catch the wind. Um, never hunted this place before, so I think the, there's a good chance they might stay low and work their way to the north into the next set of cattails so we'll see how this all works it's new to me i've never self-filmed a pheasant hunt this is how we learn got griffers the versatile terrier with me better put some shells in my gun oh burn Well, we got one down. Chased a big old horned owl out of a bunch of trees. And it was in a spot I didn't even think there was going to be any pheasants. But when the horned owl flew out, you can see him on the video. He flew over a little bush and a pheasant jumped up. I see him in the corner of the eye. And we got him. So, two more flushed out. Um, we got one. And maybe get two more. I'll be happy with two. I don't need to shoot up. Well, it wasn't the most spectacular day of hunting. Um, only had one opportunity. We were able to capitalize on it. Birds were a little bit more spooky than I anticipated. Especially with all the wind, I figured they'd be holding a lot tighter. But got one down, and then old Griffers smelled that fox and cow. And decided to go chase it instead. So. Appreciate the landowner left behind, and uh, you guys all take care, and God bless. Hope you enjoyed the video.